welcome to another episode of the delicious cooking series we are not in the kitchen we're not doing any cooking today rather i'm coming to share with you on the topic how to fall in love with exercising now i see and i know that a lot of people still see exercising as a daunting task but i promise you that after watching this video you would have a rethink and you will fall back in love with exercising before we go into the video if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet now would be a great time for you to hit that subscribe button like this video after watching and then share with your family and friends so that they too can learn something new as well So first of all, what is exercise? Now, exercise is any physical activity that helps enhance your physical fitness, your mental health, and then of course, your overall health. Now, exercises are very important and they're very vital for everyday living. And it's one of the healthiest ways you can actually keep your body in shape. And it's also very important for preserving your physical and your mental health as well. Consistently putting in the work to exercise can help prevent a variety of health conditions or sicknesses and diseases that sometimes tend to ravage and damage the human body now i'm going to go ahead now and list out a few health benefits of exercising now i'm sure you've heard this a uh, thousand and ten times but for the sake of this video and then just to help reiterate my point a whole lot better i'm going to list out a few for you just in case you do not know the importance of exercising you will know it today and you won't have to escape it again <laughs> Now, there are a ton of health benefits and most of you actually only believe that exercising is just for weight loss. But I dare tell you today that exercising is not just for weight loss. In fact, exercising does not lead directly to weight loss. There's something that happens in your body when you exercise that now results in weight loss. But that's not that shouldn't be the primary reason for exercising. Now, other health benefits of exercising would be to, first of all, to increase, increase your energy levels. Exercises affect your mood and how you behave. It can literally make you a much more happier person, makes you more active. Exercising also helps lower your blood pressure. It also increases your metabolism rate, which helps the way that your body breaks down food. It actually also helps increase the quality of your sleep. It reduces your cholesterol levels. It gets your heart pumping it also helps your heart health and it improves the circulation of blood in your muscles now the benefits are so much but in layman's language apart from the benefits that happens inside of us some of the benefits that happen outside of us is it definitely improves your mood it helps you sleep a lot better then of course it comes and it just shows itself in your overall um your body weights you get to have like firmer skin it tightens up your body your your muscles are working and are all tight and it just keeps you like keeps you together exercise has so many things it does for the skin it actually helps clear whatever it's a perfect perfect way to detox um when you want to go on a detox and it just helps take away all them dirty and annoying toxins through um, sweating. So the benefit of exercising cannot be overemphasized and then it's definitely something that is encouraged and has been encouraged for so many years and it just helps keep you in a healthy state at all times. Trust me, you are better off exercising than not exercising. And if you've ever thought that exercising is not for a certain group of people, you thought wrong. Every and anyone should exercise. And what I'm going to say today is the earlier you start exercising, the better for you. Because the effect and the result of exercising actually starts to show now, but you have a greater reward for it if you are partaking in it now. You have a greater reward for it in the future. So, if you want to do your body any good, you would literally give some time to exercising consistently. And I'm going to share a few tips with you now on how you can fall in love with exercising and make it a part of your daily routine. The first tip on my list is you need to change your mindset about exercising. Now, stop seeing exercising as a punishment, rather see it as a reward. I think I've talked on this a little bit in the introduction. When you have that mindset shift, because the truth of the matter is that really the ability and the strength to exercise comes from inside of you first. 
it comes from you making up your mind and telling yourself and actually realizing that exercising is not a punishment it's a reward yes i know that the task can be quite rigorous when you first start but when you make it a part of who you are, it becomes an easy process. And then the, 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 the perfect way to transition into making it a part of who you are is first telling yourself, exercising is not a punishment, it is a reward. I have shared some of the benefits with you. You can also do some more research and find out how many ways or the ways that exercising actually helps improve your quality of life. And then you would realize that exercise is not a punishment, but a reward. So have that mindset shift. Whatever you have to do to get your mind to shift from it being a punishment or a reward, go ahead and do it. And I think the easiest and the best way to do it is just get more information, become more knowledgeable, get more, just get to know more about exercising. And then you would actually take the very first step into falling in love with exercise. The second tip on my list is don't see exercise as a means to achieve a one-time goal. Rather, see it as a journey that never ends. This is actually what makes it interesting and this is one of the easiest ways that you can make it a part of your lifestyle. The truth of the matter is that I, when I hear people say, oh, I want to lose 10 kg or I want to lose 20 kg in, in maybe a month or in two months or whatever time frame that they have set for themselves, I say, okay, that's kudos to you, well, well and good. But I hope that you would continue to do the things that has allowed you um, or that has helped you achieve your results after you have achieved that result. So instead of seeing it as you trying to achieve a goal, it's good to set goals, don't get me wrong, it's very good to set goals, but sometimes we can stay stuck in setting our goal and then after setting the goal, we find that we go back into our whole old habits and start to do the things that got us to um, that place in the first place. And then before you know it, you're packing back the pounds on and then you're adding the weight and then you, you ask yourself what happened. So it, it just becomes a roller coaster ride. So instead of seeing it as, oh, I'm going to use exercise to achieve this one time goal, see it as something that just never ends and it's a continuous journey. Because shouldn't matter is that exercising never ends. And the earlier you get that into your head, the better it's going to be for you. Exercising is something that you have to do for the life for a lifetime and that's why you see someone at 50 someone at 60 someone at 70 is still exercising because you literally need to keep your body moving so instead of setting an unrealistic goal i know i've talked about this in a previous video instead of setting an unrealistic goal like maybe say lose 10 kg in two weeks why not tell yourself i will lose 10 kg in six months that way you do you take the baby steps do the little things that gets you to your goal every day and then before you get to your six month goal you have actually made it a lifestyle it has become a part of you because something you do for a six month period would automatically become a part of who you are so use this and, and just use this tip or use this point to rather set realistic goals for yourself instead of setting a goal a one-time goal that you would abandon or give up after a, a period of time I hope that makes some sense. The third tip on my list would be for you to do more research on the different types of exercises that exist and then find what works for you. Now, thankfully, we have a lot of fitness gurus who share with us a thousand and one different exercises um, that we can inculcate into our um, exercise routine. So you don't stay stuck on something. So when you do something and it doesn't work for you, quickly find something else that works for you and then with, by that way you can now create your own exercise routine of things that you actually really like. So do your research, find out about the different types of exercises that exist, the different moves, the different reps you can do and then with that you can now build on creating your own exercise routine and you would always enjoy your um, your exercise times whenever you when you actually take the time to create a routine that you love. Now to buttress this point a lot better there are different exercises like cardio which can include brisk walking running going for a swim um, you can also inculcate um, an exercise like the heat exercise as the HIIT that's high intensity trainings that these ones are exercises that target your muscles and help you build and firm up and tone up your muscles so you don't have flappy skin all around the place um, and then this you can have like different exercises in that one like um 
Um, there are different ones actually. So just find the exercise that works for you and stick with it, okay? The next tip I would give is make it a part of your lifestyle. I know that we all have busy lives. Everyone has a busy schedule. You can give a, a thousand and ten reasons why you should, you, you can't work out. You can say, oh, I have to take care of the kids. I have to take care of my family. But I say to you that 10 minutes, a 10 minutes exercise for a three day period every week is better than zero minutes of exercise at all. So what you do is just determine in your heart that you want to take this person or you actually really want to start exercising and then find the time to do it. Find a schedule that works for you. Even if it's five minutes every, maybe, I, I personally work out three times a week. That's what I have found works for me for a 30 minute period. Sometimes I go over 30 minutes when I'm enjoying the exercise. Sometimes I do way more than an hour, depends but I never go below um, 30 minutes. And that's what I've chosen to do. And I do it three times a week. I find the time to do it either in the morning or in the evening with no excuses at all. And then of course, there are different tips you can actually implement even whilst you're doing your, your, your activities during the day in your like in comfort of your home. You can just take the time and just quickly get a little bit of workout in and boom, you would have exercised for that day. So make it a part of your lifestyle. Yours can be used start with once a week stick to that once a week consistently maybe yours is twice a week or five times a week stick to it consistently because it is what you do consistently that actually gives you results hear that again it is what you do consistently that produces results for you but if you do something one day and stop and don't follow up on it you will not achieve any results okay the next tip would be for you to create an exercise schedule within your busy schedule. Like I said in my previous tip, look and look through your schedule. You would find a window or a time frame to get it done. Even if it means you waking up an hour or 30 minutes before your usual wake up time or going to bed a little later, you would definitely find the time. So create a schedule that can fit into your personal schedule and um, that way you can easily make it a lifestyle without stressing. And the last point on my list would be find a support system. Sometimes people need extra push and extra motivation to get started. I remember when I was first starting out on my exercise journey, I really didn't like exercising. So what I did was I had to hire a fitness coach who would come to my house three times every week to take me on my exercise routine. But after a while, I think, I think after about two years, I realized that I really didn't need him anymore because I had, I'd, I'd made it my, I had made it a part of who I was and I could easily and without stress just um, um, perform my exercise routine. So you might be like that as well. You might want someone to just um, um, support you through the process if you have if you can afford to hire a fitness trainer please hire one and then if you can um if you can't afford you can join a gym membership or you can just ask your family and friends to join you or maybe you can join one of the support groups on social media these days there's so many ways you can have people actually support you on the journey so um find a support system that works because support actually goes a long way to helping you stay motivated stay encouraged and of course stay consistent now that's all the tips that i have to share in this video i must say this before i go that you never regret a good workout especially if you combine it with a healthy diet and thankfully on this channel this year we have made it our mission to help as many people as possible um, live healthier lifestyles by providing information and recipes that will guide you on your healthy living journey so make exercising a lifestyle make healthy eating a lifestyle and you would have your body thank you for it now you may not necessarily start to see results um after maybe a two-week period of starting out your exercise process but trust me there's a, a transformation going on inside of you that will begin to manifest and show itself on the outside if you consistently continue do not give up on exercising I really, really hope that um, we can make exercise in a, li a lifestyle this year so that we can be um, one step closer to ensuring that we live happier and healthier lives all year round. All right, guys, I'll see you next time in another video. Until then, take care.